Hello everyone, VFox here, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. Um, I was going to explain, um, that, uh, I... Yeah, I probably should tell you this. I had trouble, um, getting the recording, um, process through Movie Maker, uh, for this and part 4 as well, so I had to delete it and do it all over again. Um, with that said, um, there isn't really much to say about, uh, what's gonna be happening. Um, uh, parts three and four. Uh, I, uh, I'm quite unsure. How long this might take, I have no idea. Okay, so basically I go up here um, to get this one up. Yeah. There's like, there's like easily a ton of places where you could, um, where you can um, get one-ups and that place is just one of them. I honestly never spent the, the right amount of time to um, to to see where all the secrets are and uh, can't believe I didn't uh, let go of the rope there um, uh, this section of the part this section of the game is a little bit difficult um, because you can uh, bounce off of the um, off of the rocks falling, but the problem is it's just very, very tricky. Because, yeah, see what, like, right there I tried to do it? it? It's not quite as easy as you would think. And as you can see, I got hit twice. And we're end at the end of the fucking, at the, uh, sorry, at the end of the level. Um, and as we see, Abu, no! <laughs> um... Abu has infidels. <laughs> Infidels. Okay, congratulations, Jafar, Abu, Jasmine, Genie. Okay. Moving on. Oh, we got some storytelling here. As soon as Abu touches the gem that he should not have touched. The cave begins to collapse. They're going to have to get out of there. Man, sometimes the text can be so boring. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Yeah, this this part of the game is really, really tricky, along with the next level to come up. Um, because you have to... Because when you, you see the, the little platform that um, was uh, risen up by fire, or lava, rather, not fire. Um, it also means you can't hang on to the ledge of those uh, platforms. Sorry, I uh, yawned for a second there, which is why the hesitation is there. And yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna try to get that red gem, but um, no, I'm not gonna do that. It would, it would, and plus the scr screen just keeps scrolling all the way to the to the right. Um, now I just need to time it right. Uh, yeah, this yeah this this whole this section of the game like most of these parts of the of the level are are really just all about timing it just right, knowing when to jump at the right moment or. Basically, if you screw up, you just gotta do it all over again. And oh, I hate getting. This. Oh, never mind. Okay, I got the scarab. And I gotta wait for that fire. Okay, moving on. Keep going. Uh, okay. Bounce? Bounce? Oh, whoa. 
Oh, that was close. And you know what? I think I may actually get this because uh, I'm I have been doing good, pretty good so far. Oh, won't be getting that red gem anytime soon. Or that one, unless I use the parachute, which is fine. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, it's a good thing I had it handy, too. Wow. And with that scarab we collected, we are now entering into another break time. Sponsored by Disney and the genie here. And, um... Okay, th th that just looks nasty right there. Genie's finger dangling around. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't like how that how awkward that looks. Because it looks like a... Well, to be painfully honest, it looks like a penis. I'm not kidding. I don't want to think about it now. Oh, God. And I think I was, it probably wasn't even until now that I noticed that. And Okay, now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the hardest, the absolute hardest level throughout the entire game. I'll only be able to get through it if I'm lucky. Because here, it isn't like all the other levels, because you get hit once, that's it. And then you gotta do it all over again. Yeah, this section is pretty tricky because uh, you never know when to go up at the right time. In fact, the first time I ever played this, um, I had a little trouble figuring it out. And, like, and then eventually when I figured it out, I was like, oh, okay. And, oh, did I go through it? Did I go through it? And I didn't get hit! That is some insane luck right there, folks. Okay, we got ourselves another password. Genie, Jafar, Aladdin, Abu. Hmm. And we have some more expositioning story. Aladdin and Abu escape and deliver the lamp to Jafar. But he tricks them and seals them into the cave. Okay, first of all, that never happened in the movie. Fortunately, Abu cleverly stole the lamp from Jafar. In order to read the writing on the old lamp, Aladdin rubs it with his sleeve and poof. Wait, sleep? He doesn't have a sleeve, he just wears that vest. A genie appears and declares that Aladdin is his new master, and he is also voiced by um, Robin Williams, of course. But first he invites La Aladdin into the lamp. Wait, what does that even mean? Oh, you know what it is? I know what this is. Remember the Friend Like Me song from the movie? Yeah, apparently they took that bit and turned it into a movie. Job well done, Capcom. See, you can even hear the music playing in the background. Just listen. Uh-huh. See, you get it? I'm sorry, I, I just can't help but home to it because it's so addicting. <laughs> it's just to me, it's it's about as oh, it's just about as addicting as the Ducktales theme song. It, it in fact, it almost gives me the same feeling because once it, it's in your once you get it in your head, you just can't it just won't leave. Will your pleasure be? Sorry, I can't help but sing it. <laughs> oh god. Boing. Boing. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Very hilarious Motorhead uh, reference. They're a uh, band from Great Britain, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. By the way, the Aids of Spades song, just really awesome to listen to. 
and that's the end of um, the first level in this area. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than what I thought it was. Oh, I think this one must be. I think that this it's either this one or the one after. That's the harder level. I I don't know. Oh oh, I missed that. I wanted that gem. Oh, <laughs> did you notice that? That when you were holding on to the the hook at the bottom, he gave that strange face face, but he kept smiling when you just jumped and made his balloon form pop. I was like, what? Yeah, he he must not mind getting his head blown up. Oh my god, like, this gives me the same vibe as the uh, DuckTales game on NES because the soundtrack is really just amazing and I gotta get that scarab! Yay, I got the scarab! What? What? Whoa! <laughs> ha! Well, <laughs> looks like I'm running low again on time, so uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get this uh, break time all the way through, and uh, I'm probably just gonna stop talking here. And uh, stay tuned for part four of Let's Play Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. See you guys later. <laughs>